Tétanger was founded in 1932 by Pierre Charles Tétanger. And ever since, Tétanger has been family owned. It's one of the very few cham big champagne houses which is still family owned. We have in this cellar four kilometers uh, of cellars with three million bottles. In the other cellar that we have at Tétanger, which is close to the city centre, we have 10 kilometres and 19 million bottles. And in the 13th century, there used to be an abbey here, the saint Niquez Abbey, but unfortunately it was completely destroyed during the French Revolution in 1789. So nothing above the ground remains, but here in the cellars we still have some vestiges because these used to be the cellars of the abbey. So for example, here we have the old chapel of the abbey where the monks came to pray. And this staircase over here used to lead to the sacristy. So most of the bottles that you'll be able to see in this cellar are the Comte de Champagne. That is our cuvée de prestige. It's our best champagne. The Comte de Champagne is entirely made with Grand Cru. The Cru are the villages in the region where the grapes come from. There are 319 Cru altogether and these are classified according to the quality of the grapes. Then there are 41 premier cru, and all the others are cru without specific appellation. So for the Comte de Champagne, we use only the best, the Grand Cru, and the Comte de Champagne are always vintage champagnes. And that means that they're made with only one year of harvest. For non-vintage, we blend several years. At Etanger, we sell 5 million bottles per year and 70% of that is exported. We export primarily to the UK, then to the US and also quite a bit to Germany. We make uh, nine different champagnes at Tétanger, three vintage and six non-vintage. Legally, in the Champagne region, the Champagne has to age at least 15 months for a non-vintage and at least three years for a vintage. But uh, here at Cetanger, we choose to let our champagnes age longer, much longer than the minimum that is required, because we want them to develop more flavors, more character. So here we have the different sizes. It goes from the demi, the half bottle, up till the Nabico de Nosor, which is 15 liters. The temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. This temperature is constant thanks to the chalk that we have around us. And this chalk is common to the whole Champagne region. It's very important for this constant temperature for the aging of Champagne and also for the vineyards and for the mineral taste that it will give to Champagne.